Hey guys, today we are going to be grinding three different types of grain in our Nutramill Harvest Grain Mill and talking about what those different types of grain are good for. Hey guys, it's Stephanie from the blog thefarmhousemom.com and today we are going to be talking about wheat berries. So we have three different types of wheat berries here. We've got einkorn, we have a soft white wheat, and then we have a hard white wheat. So we are going to grind these all up in our Nutramill Harvest grain mill and we are going to be talking about which flours we should be using for what baking projects. So I am going to show you the different texture of the berries. This is an einkorn berry. And then in the middle, I'm going to put some soft white wheat. And then we are going to add our hard white wheat. So you can see the einkorn is a darker, kind of nuttier. This is has much more moisture. It's a plumper wheat berry. And you can see that the hard white wheat is not quite as moist and it is a little bit darker yet not quite as dark as the einkorn. So this morning I had a lot of discard and so here we have what is going to be a blueberry sourdough muffin. We also have some einkorn tortillas happening and then we have some um, flatbread that we're going to be having for dinner tonight with some ground beef and some potatoes, a nice little Mediterranean dish we're going to use. I just leave my Nutramill grain mill plugged in next to my KitchenAid and so we're just going to leave it here so we don't have to move it around. We're going to go ahead and grind some einkorn. I'm going to show you what that looks like and then um, we'll talk about what that is used for in different baking projects that you have. Here are our three berries, side to side, ground into flour. So the einkorn berry, which was the darker, is still a very nice, soft, and fluffy. Obviously, it's a little bit more of a whole grain look. And then we've got our soft white wheat that's much wider. I hope you can see in the light here, but it's much wider and softer, so as I pick it up, it's much fluffier, even though it was ground at the same setting. And then we have our hard white wheat. And so this feels a little bit like of a mix between a whole wheat flour and an all-purpose flour. So let's talk about what we can use these flours for. All right, I'm trying to get everything in this shot and it's hard, so I'm just gonna hold stuff up. So. This is, like I showed you before, my einkorn um, tortillas that I'm working on. So I have been cooking with einkorn for about a year. I still feel like, um, you know, sometimes I don't get it right. It also is gonna be a denser product, so it's a denser loaf if you're making, whatever it is you're making, it's just more compact. It's got a really nutty flavor, it's delicious, it's my favorite. My family prefers more of a, like an all-purpose type flour, um, but this is my favorite, it tastes so good, and I'm used to kind of eating um, you know, I was single for a long time. I didn't get married <laughs> until I was 35, so I'm really used to eating like, you know, super health food store. Um, I did that a lot in my 20s, and so I like it, and I'm getting them to like it more. Our soft wheat here is more of a higher moisture content, 
and it also is lower in gluten. So you can use it, so I'm long fermenting this. The reason that this is yellow is that there's an entire stick of butter in there. So I'm um, long fermenting this for tomorrow morning for breakfast and I'm going to make blueberry muffins with this. So the soft wheat is perfect for any baked goods, anything that you don't need, like a high gluten content. So that's what I'm currently, you know, on the learning curve. That's what I'm using these flours for. And then our hard winter, our hard white wheat is, it is a whole wheat flour, but it's also something that you can use like an all-purpose flour. It's not gonna be quite as dense as the einkorn. And so I'm using this, like I said, for flatbread that we're going to eat for dinner tonight. I hope that you are having fun at home, baking with your Nutrimill harvest and grinding your fresh flour. It really is so much more nutritious and I am really enjoying it. I'm very glad that I made the purchase. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.